This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, we have an update on the recent yacht hijacking in the Caribbean. In February, a couple were on board their catamaran in Grenada when three escaped convicts allegedly hijacked the boat in order to escape the island. The three inmates who had escaped from prison in Grenada have now been charged with the murder of the two Americans, the couple. Uh, initially, they were only charged with immigration-related crimes. The plan was to use the yacht to flee to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, police said. Now, the yacht was later found abandoned by another boat owner in, in the waters nearby St. Vincent, and the bodies of the victims have never been found. The Salty Dog Sailing Association, of whom the missing couple were members, said it was contacted by another boater who spotted the yacht named Simplicity anchored and abandoned off the south coast of St. Vincent. The Good Samaritan boarded the boat and noted that the owners Ralph Hendry and Kathy Brandall were not on board and found evidence of apparent violence. The person also contacted the Coast Guard, who notified St. Vincent Police, the association said. Grenada Police said the escapees were recaptured the same day by Royal St. Vincent and Grenadines Police Force. In a statement posted on Facebook, the Royal Grenada Police said that, I'm not going to read the names of the three people, the three people who have been arrested for murder. They were jointly charged with uh, two counts of capital murder by intentionally causing the death of Ralph Hendry and Kathleen Brendel, Brandel, so, excuse me, citizens of the United States of America. They were also charged with the offences of escaping lawful custody, housebreaking, robbery and two counts of kidnapping. According to police, one of the escapees was shot when being recaptured and was treated for his injuries. Grenada Police Commissioner Don McKenzie said in a news conference, the couple were likely thrown overboard during the hijacking and information suggests the escapees disposed of the occupants whilst traveling between Grenada and St. Vincent, which is about 80 miles, 80 nautical miles away. The three suspects made a court appearance in St. George's Magistrates Court in Grenada on Thursday and were remanded to prison and they're due back in court on March 27th. So stay tuned for updates. So we'll move on to our next story. This is Sailing Yacht A, uh, seen here in the waters off the coast of Trieste in Italy. The yacht, believed to be worth in excess of $550 million, was formally seized by the Italian government in 2022 after her owner, Andrei Melnichenko, was added to the sanctions list by the European Union. The yacht, which is still crewed by people who worked on board before she was seized, is controlled now by the Italian government, and this includes payments for the upkeep of the vessel. Well, the massive superyacht has finally moved from Trieste after over two years. The 142-metre sailing yacht sailed from Trieste Wednesday, where she was in refit when the vessel was boarded by Italian government officials in 2022 and seized. The yacht made a short journey to Venice, arriving at a Venice anchorage at 12.46 UTC Wednesday. The yacht was escorted on her journey by an Italian military vessel with the name GDF G222. Uh, the motor-assisted sailing yacht has been con constantly moving the entire time in Trieste because of weather in the area and has been unable to simply drop anchor or dock somewhere nearby due to a lack of suitable and available docks for long-term docking. The yacht was originally held in the dry dock for a number of months, but eventually had to be moved to allow the shipyard to use that facility. There are currently few details as to why the yacht has made the trip to Venice, but one source said it's possible that the move was made as the area may give shelter from the elements to allow the yacht to sit at anchor and wait out bad weather back in Trieste. Now, the yacht being escorted by the military tells us that the yacht has not been released and is still under the control of the authorities. The sailing yacht was guarded by vessels classed as military ops on AIS. After approximately 24 hours at the Venice anchorage, the yacht returned to Trieste, suggesting the waiting out bad weather theory was probably accurate. Now, the Italian government has been maintaining and paying for the yacht reportedly at a cost of 12 million euros a year. This figure, although already eye-watering, is only a small part of the actual cost it would be to maintain and use the yacht if her owner were in charge. Now, the cost per year would be more likely to be 50 to 60 million based on the 10% rule. Anyway, the owner, Mr. Melnichenko, who denied being the owner in recent reporting, 
that he wants to pay the maintenance cost himself as he's worried the yacht may not be cared for in the way that may be required to keep her in top shape. The yacht is being crewed by a crew of 20, which is way down on what would normally be on board under normal circumstances. A yacht of this size would have a crew of probably 40 to 60 when in use by the owner. The yacht was built by Nobus Krug in Germany and delivered in 2017. It took about six years to, to be built, to be completed, at 142 meters or 468 feet and 12 and a half thousand gross tons. She is one of the largest super yachts in the world. The yacht is often described as the largest sailing yacht in the world. However, because of her design, she's not a fully fledged sailing yacht and it can only sail with the assist of the sails, meaning the motors must be running and the sails can only assist the yacht's movement. All right, we'll move on. It's a Friday yacht spot. The first boat this week is Moat Yacht Abiona, and this, is take, this was taken by Jason Tuckett. The yacht can be seen here off the coast of the US Virgin Islands. The yacht is a support vessel owned by Jeff Bezos. So what is a support vessel? If you don't already know, it's a vessel that carries all the toys for the main yacht, boats, helicopters, etc. In this case, Bezos' uh, 127 meter sailing yacht, the sailing yacht Coro, is the mothership. Abiona is currently in Florida, whilst Coro has already crossed the Atlantic and is now in Palma in Spain. Abiona was built by Damon Yachting and is 75 meters in length or 246 feet, and it was delivered in 2023. And the second boat today is Moti Yacht Dreamboat, taken by Guy Richards. He said he spotted the Dreamboat in St. Lucia this week. This was actually about 10 days ago when we, this came in, uh, in Rodney Bay. And he said it really is a beautiful boat and obviously fully laid out for guests. He says, apologies for the video being a little shaky, but he was on a jet ski. But all things considered, it was pretty good footage considering he was on a jet ski. Now, the specs of Dreamboat, it's a 90 meter or 290 foot super yacht built by Ocean Co in 2019. The yacht can carry 23 guests in 11 cabins and has a crew of 33. The yacht is owned by Arthur Blank, the owner of the Home Depot, or Depot as they say in the US. She had said to her parents that she was being held on board against her will. All right, a new episode of the Yacht Report podcast is live on YouTube, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, etc. In this episode, we will answer the question, is there a super yacht blacklist? And remember to check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash yesisman. You'll find many videos not featured on YouTube, including our Atlantic vlog series and the patron chat series. A number of new patron chat videos have already been uploaded and behind the scenes footage from our trips to super yacht marinas all over the world. New trip coming up very soon. Now, if you've got any information for us about any of these stories or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch. You can get us in the email address in the ticket. You can get us on the about page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, on Threema, oh, on Twitter and on Threema. Be sure to like this video, very important for the algorithm. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.